Hi, I've just finished the new one by Percival Everett, Dr. No. This won the Pen America Literary Award for Fiction this year. And I read The Trees last year when it was on the Booker list. So I was intrigued, excited to read another one of his because I did really, really enjoy The Trees. I wasn't expecting what I got, nowhere near. It is absurd, it's madcap, it's fun, really. Um, totally unexpected. On the surface, it is a satire about Bond movies, Dr. No. But I think it's deceptive. I think he's wanting us to look at issues of race and power and greed. Perhaps. Who knows? Or it might just be a book about nothing. Because as it says on the back, Walo Kitu is a brilliant professor of mathematics. He's an expert on nothing. That is to say he is an expert and his area of study is nothing and he does nothing about it. So he's a professor of nothing. Walo Kitu is, um, his names mean, I'm pretty sure they mean nothing. Um, so he studies the concept of nothing. Billionaire John Sill comes into his life and John Sill has aspirations to be a supervillain. He wants Kitu to work with him. He wants to break into Fort Knox and steal a shoebox containing nothing. Uh, this is this is this book. There are lots of discussions about nothing and what it means, and it it, it is just off the wall at, t at times. Um, if you counted how many times the word nothing came into the book, I I don't know, because it is nothing. It, you know, it, it, is this a book about nothing? I I don't know. There are so many discussions about the value of nothing, when nothing happens. But there's humour in here. Um, there are puns in here. There's the satire about James Bond in here. You've got everything that you see in James Bond novels. You've got fast cars, you've got helicopters, you've got submarines, you've got sharks. Um, the only person that Kitu sort of, sort of comes close to with is um, another professor at uh, the university who John Sill takes under his wing almost, and she's somebody called Eigen Vector, which, if you Google it, is a mathematical term. So, you know, it's there's all sorts of things like this in here. I'm sure I missed missed loads of them. Um, and these two, Eigen and Kitu, realise that Sill, surrounded as he is by um, industry leaders, by the vice president of the United States, who is called Schilling. Is that a sort of pun on the fact Mike Pence? I don't know. You tell me. And a seven foot hitman. Sorry, not a hitman. A seven foot guy from Hawaii. Um, and I mean, was it Dr. No that had Jaws, the huge guy? You know, it's, um, they, anyway, they decide that Syl is really, really evil because he has got no regard for human life at all. No regard for government or anything except a desire to possess nothing. Um, it's mad, it's mischievous. And I thought it was fun. I really did enjoy this. So if you want something that's a bit different, if you want a book about nothing, then pick up Dr. No. So happy reading. Take care.